So that's just recording. See this little trigger up here? Press up to zoom in, press down. The zoom is not that good, actually. It zooms, but it's janky. It's not smooth. Yeah, we don't need no zoom. All you gotta do is just point that shit at us. Watch out for that trigger. The record trigger is right down the front. You got, who won't bring out a script? We gotta get 2 Timothy 4. That's pretty sweet, right? And I think the mic's on top of it, so we can do it. You got something you want to bring out? Bro, second second. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You need some gloves, bro? Right now, I'm cool. I'll probably eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want me to start from the top? Yeah, second Timothy 4. Second Timothy 4 1. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord, Yahweh Shah, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing. And his kingdom. Oh, at, a, at his appearing. That's talking about when the Lord appears out the sky in them chariots, the so-called UFOs. Yeah, that's what that's what we're waiting for. You know, everybody be at home, they watching their ancient aliens. You know what I'm saying? That's a popular show. But how come that the ancient aliens? You watch ancient aliens that they'll never bring out any scriptures from the New Testament. They might bring out Ezekiel the first chapter. They don't want you to know about the chariots in the New Testament. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to know that the one they call Jesus and the angels are the ones flying around in the spaceship. They want you to think it's an alien or something. You know what I'm saying? But that's the Lord and the angels. That's where that song Sweet Chariot comes from. Sweet Chariot, come to carry me home. Keep going. 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove. Rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. Oh yeah, say be instant in season, out of season. So we gonna come out here teaching in the rain, sleet, hail, snow. We don't give a damn. It's just a blizzard out here. You can't see as a blizzard. We coming out to teach. We don't care that nobody's out here. We still gonna come out and teach. Yeah, I remember that one winter where it was like mounds. Like, yeah, Mount, we didn't, yeah, there, there wasn't nobody out here. It was, it was like a snow desert. Yeah, it was like we had literally had mountains of snow this damn high around us. <laughs> you were able to stick that was right, that was man. last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, because yeah, we had the man five feet of snow. It was beautiful, man. It, this whole place looked different. It was like you had to walk down a tunnel. Yeah, it was, it was a it tunnel was of snow. It was very crazy. So we are. It's cold as fuck out here. It's like zero damn degrees. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're going to come out here and teach regardless. There's still people out here, and we're still going to make videos and put it on the internet. So the word of the Lord does never go out void. Second Timothy. Because you got a bunch of faggots. Because you got a bunch of faggots on YouTube. They'll just tell you that you can't go teaching when, you can only go teaching when it's a warm, sunny day. You know what I'm saying? The word... Because you're going to have crazy people just like us. They're going to be out here. You know what I'm saying? Women still walking around with skirts. No, damn well they cold as hell. Yeah, they their legs free. Trying to look cute. Cody Buster Pack. It's all the light goes on. People still coming out. Oh, we did. Second Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Hold on, Back up and read that one again. That's something else I want to bring out. Four, 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 uh, four and three. Yeah. Crazy Second Timothy four and three. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. I'm up on two. I'm up on two. Second Timothy four and two. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Rebuke, rebuke. A uh, rebuke. So we gonna come out here and we gonna rebuke fools. Anybody come up here talking any kind of nonsense? Saying the Bible ain't true, or they teaching some old uh, pork chop preaching church doctrine. We gonna curse curse your ass out. That's all there is to it. So it's our job is to rebuke people, to yeah, correct people. Extort. Yeah, extort, <laughs> Ex extort, not e extort. Yes, yeah, not extort. Ex yeah. Exhort. Yeah, tongue twister. Extort. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
tough word to say. All right, keep going. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Uh, long suffering. So this thing we do is all about suffering. Uh, so the Lord said, He said, whoever wants to follow me, you gotta pick up your own cross. You gotta pick up your own cross and follow me. That's what the Lord said. And to pick up your cross don't mean to do like the. Uh, with, you go over there. What's that over there in the, uh, the Philippines? That what's that island called? The Philippines. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of islands. Yeah, well, you know they actually have ser uh, rituals where they actually carry crosses. And they take that. They're so stupid. They take that scripture literally, and they go get an actual cross and carry it. That's how, you know what I'm saying? Cause some people are stupid, man. They ain't too bright. They're retarded. That's not, that's not spiritual at all. Yeah. The picking up your cross means to do this work regardless of who gets in your way. If anybody gets in your way, you just push them out your way. Like, fuck you, get out my damn way, I'm doing the work. And fuck you. Because your woman's going to get in your way, she's going to have a problem with you teaching. Say, fuck you, bitch, I'm going to teach the Bible. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Okay, you ain't stopping me. And say, if you're a young man, your mom tried to get in your way, Say, get out of my way. I'm teaching the Bible. You ain't going to stop. Ain't no stopping us. You know what I'm saying? The police will come out here and fuck with you. You know, fuck the police. You can't be scared, man. Oh, keep going. Yeah, because you got a lot of people, they scared. They all would get arrested if we teach. We got no faith. It's been a long time since we've been arrested, ain't it? And even when I did get arrested, it, it wasn't nothing major. Man, that bitch almost wrecked looking at us. Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> Dumb asshole. Women shouldn't be allowed to drive, period. She wasn't paying attention at all. How you doing? <laughs> I'm hot. For, uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Yeah, that's, that, that breaks down all these churches, man. These churches are a joke. We shouldn't even have to talk about these churches there. Goddamn joke. You know what I'm saying? If you still going to a church, man, something's wrong with you. The only people up in them churches nowadays is your grandma and your, your auntie. That's it. Number a bunch of dumbass women. you over there giving all that money to the preacher. You dumb assholes, you should just give us all, give us your money, you know what I mean? Fucking retarded. Plus, you got all kind of wild, bugged out teachers on YouTube, too, teaching all kind of madness. Now you just popular thing, people saying, oh, the, the Bible, the Bible comes from Egypt. The, the, uh, what's some other madness these fools be teaching, like that ancient alien shit. That's some bugged out doctrine. And a bugged out teaching. Shit. Trying to say trying to say that God's actually an alien. You know what I'm saying? I see uh, one shit bugged out fucking dude talking about aliens. Weird ass dude. He got like a bro or something like that. Yeah. And he wanna say that even in the Bible it said that Jonah got swallowed up in a fish had grass. <laughs> oh, like, it was like, a, ro a robotic. Yeah, thing. yeah, it was, it was a spaceship it that was he actually got swallowed. I was like, I know, I just read to oh, it. See, it don't got nothing to do with that. Oh, that's that itching ears. Cause see, when you teach that, see, when you, <laughs> if you know when you get on YouTube, it's the people that's teaching the most bugged out, whacked out, fantastical shit to get the most views. Yeah, you said fantastical shit. Like David Icke. Yeah, yeah. They love David Icke. That's what it is. David Icke's a superstar. Fantastical. Because all, all he does is... <laughs> is that even a word? Yeah, it is a word. Fanta they live in fantasy land. <laughs> if we came out here talk about lizard people and reptilians... <laughs> oh, that's your boy. We talked to him. Big booty hoes. We like big booty hoes. Okay? <laughs> he, he's done. We talked to him before. I don't think we recognize him. I know him from somewhere. We talked to him years ago, I think. I know that guy. I mean, that's all these hoes is good for is they... And actually, that big booty probably stinks. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You got to scrub it before I'm coming. Because all these women is hoes. They don't take baths. They take showers. They're supposed to take a 
bath. Shit. Shit with nah, I know bitches don't even take a bath, they just wipe down with a rag. <laughs> Man, you tell your girl what's that bitch's name? Veronica. Oh, she ain't never gonna watch this channel. Yeah, we had this girl staying with us. And I wasn't hitting it. This other dude that lived with us was hitting it. And he was loving it too, getting all up in it. I never, for we let she lived with us for almost a year. I never seen her take a shower. She just washed off with a rag. Never, I never seen her take a shower. She must have been tough, baby. And then your boy come so up talking. Good. And yeah. then your boy come up talking about how he's eating a pussy. Oh. <laughs> about, I like to eat the pussy. Yeah, man. That's some scary shit. Oh, yeah. And it, we came to find out. And then she had tuberculosis. Mm. Or the dude have tuberculosis. We, Both of them. And we called him TV for short. T T TV. What no, his him? nickname was T, but we called him TV. Oh, no. We called, we called him Losis. That's right. His nickname was Losis. He had tuberculosis eating that dog stinking ass pussy. Well, we, I got sidetracked. Well, I was just talking about something important. And that motherfucker fucked us up. That was talking about bitches. Church, uh, church, the women in the churches. Oh, yeah. Well, you got, what's, you got more of that scripture? Mm-hmm. My pinky finger done went out on me. <laughs> you don't need to talk to You can have some gloves. I, you can have it. I brought an extra pair in case anybody needed it. Brand new. Never been worn. Second Timothy 4 and 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be oh. turned unto fables. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, they be turned into fables. Just like that, yeah, we was talking about David Ike. Yeah, if we came out here and we talked about reptilians and we and we talk about uh, all kind of bugged out, whacked out shit, and we said the Anunnaki were actually reptilians and uh, Barack Obama was actually a reptilian and. <laughs> The, the, yeah, man, we can get all kind of views, man. Barack Obama's uh, He's Malcolm Akhenaten. X, Malcolm X's son. Oh, yeah, Barack Obama's oh, Malcolm God. X's son. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell Barack Obama's Malcolm X's son. No way in hell. He would have a lot more sense. I mean, because Malcolm X was a goddamn fool. Because he's a Muslim. We don't give no props to no Muslim. But that boy, he knew the truth too. But he was, was wrong with that Islam shit. But he was he had some kind of smarts to him though, you know what I mean? He was smooth with his speeches. Malcolm X would give you a six hour long speech without looking at no notes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's why Farrakhan and them killed his ass. You know what I'm saying? Because he started going against their program. His nation of Islam, that was set up by the Edomites. It was set up by the so called white man. Because they give a the nation of Islam, that's all that shit. The Moorish nation, the nation of Moors, they all wear the Fez cap. That all goes back to the Ottoman Empire and the Ottoman Turks who are Edomites. Yeah, that was um, Master Farah, so-called Master Farah Muhammad. Yeah. A Turk. A, goddamn, a Turk, a goddamn Edomite. Of all people, he's a fucking, uh, he's from Amalek. Yeah, right, because the Turks are re- closely related to the Khazars. They're all considered Turkish people. And that's the Khazars of the so-called Jew, the filthiest creature on the planet. Mm-hmm. So don't be surprised Farrakhan sold the fuck out and he switched to well, Scientology. He, he ain't teaching goddamn Scientology. Know, ain't that something? And then they, they, they gonna, I got people defending Scientology on, on Twitter. I, I, I love them. Scientology kind of remind me of uh, Islam. Scientology just come out of the woodwork. Well, that's like a, how Islam came in the ancient days out of the woodwork. Like. Mm-hmm. Scientology is similar because they how they teach how it's all the space trips and shit. Yeah, know, it's a well, the more yeah, they always talk about that more science. Mm-hmm. Uh, What's his name? Uh, uh, the dude that so called supposed to have um, been made. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of his name. He can't his name. Are you talking about? This is what Islam teach about. Oh, you talking? They try to say that's Jacob. They try to say it's, that's that's right. it's Yaku. That's what I was going They say, to. yeah, nation. This way, nation. Big, he's a big head no, they say he had two heads. Uh, oh shit! Sure. They, 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 they said Jacob had, was a scientist and he had two heads that's and right. he lived on an island. That's what they're talking about. Our ancestor about. Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. So you got me. Yaku. Yeah, they know they were Yaku. Yaku. 
so so you gotta be crazy you gotta be retarded to believe that in the first place where the hell they get that shit yep. and, then, and then Farrakhan tell people he went up into the UFO flew up into outer space yeah cause the motherfucker said that he was talking to the alien no he was talking to uh Elijah Muhammad clown ass on the spaceship like we talking to each other like right now. Yeah, that's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? He ain't get on no chariot. You know that's a hustling ass nigga, man. You're a fucking liar, man. <laughs> yeah. And a you gotta liar. be you gotta you gotta be a stupid asshole to believe that shit. And who the fuck walks around wearing a goddamn bow tie anyway? That looks gay as hell. That one, you got what? What you you had something you to bring out, didn't you? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to talk down Nation of Islam too long because they're worthless. They're they're irrelevant. They're I mean they're irrelevant. Damn Muslims just killed that dude that drew that comic about them. Oh yeah. Well, what say to me? The Muslims over in Italy when they no, went Paris. on that Paris. Is in Paris, France. Oh yeah. Oh, the, mass, the mass killing going on over there. That's but you watch. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I hate Muslims as much as I hate Muslims. I gotta say that shit look like a. They look like goddamn special forces out there. They have witnesses on the scene that they said that they thought it was act, there was special forces That's that killed that cop. Too, yeah. And they say one of them was speaking uh, clear and plain perfect French. French. Yep, yep. So those, that shit's all set up just like the boss of bombings like was set up. Or something like that. It was a, uh, it was probably just their whoever their version of the CIA is over here. The French, you know? But I know why the French government's doing that because they be get they're getting uh, you got a fraction of the government. That probably did that probably because that country's flooded with goddamn Muslims and they need an excuse to start getting them the fuck out of there. So actually, I don't blame them. Right after that, they threw a couple. They threw grenades. They didn't say how many. They said they threw the grenades at the uh, mosque. They showed them pictures or nothing. That's just the same thing with Hitler you know, did when Hitler bombed mm-hmm. the right. What the right stock? What? However you say that shit. I can't pronounce some German words. What's the Latin saying? Um, out of chaos. Order out of chaos. Order, 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 order out of chaos. Order out of chaos. Yeah, they could use that to bring in further. Uh, Further control to further lock down the society, bringing a police state, mm-hmm. and they could also be using it to, to to rev up some anti-Muslim propaganda. But you can't blame them for that. You got man, who the fuck just let Muslims come into your country by the millions? You see these people in America? We got goddamn Muslims everywhere you look, and nobody got a problem with it but us. It seems like we the only ones that have a problem with it. Everywhere you look, there's a heathen. Yep. A, a guy, if it ain't yeah. a goddamn Muslim, it's a goddamn African. And if it ain't an African, it's a goddamn Hindu. Yeah. A fucking Hindu. And you know how many Hindus are? There's billions of Hindus. Yeah, billion That's the second people. most populated country on earth. And, and they dumping billions and millions of, of them on us. The goddamn Hindus is taking all the technology jobs from you. They taking all kind of jobs from you. And y'all just sit back and let it happen like some bitches. That's good though. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the end of America. This is the end of a, yeah, it's the end of this country. That's proof this country is going down the toilet. This is a, you got a heathen invasion. And it's all by design too. It's all by design. And the so-called Jews, the one that controlled the government, and they're uh, flooding this country to keep keep Jake down. You know what I mean? Keep bringing the heathens in to take all your jobs, take all your money. And then one of you people that do have jobs, they're going to take all your tax money and give it to a heathen. You supporting a goddamn uh, a 10 member heathen family. They don't work. All the Somalians, you ever see a Somalian with a job? <laughs> Where the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? And nobody likes Somalians. I don't know not one person who likes Somalians. Mm-hmm. You ever meet anybody say, I just love those people? You, that's funny you say that, though, because I, I know a few two-thirds that uh that claim they go back to Somalia. Oh, they're swerving my down. <laughs> they hang out at the motherfucking, uh, on the corners at the Somalian carryout like, that's my man. people. Yep. <laughs> I be cracking up, man. You got to be out your goddamn mind. I don't cuss them motherfuckers out talking that stupid shit, man. Somalians, they, they got to be the most retarded people on the planet. They they're dirty, they stink, they're retarded. 
these niggas are stupid, man. They cut your ass out so they ain't know who's Somalia. I'm trying to say they people go back to Somalia. That don't even make no sense. Right. They oh, don't they resemble them in the shit. least bit. Don't even resemble the motherfuckers in the least don't bit. Don't nobody look like a Somalian, but don't a Somalian. Nobody. Don't nobody, right. You can't, right. You can't, it can't be duplicated. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, niggas. Everybody want to be Somali. Everybody want to be Egyptian. That's how you know they don't have bullshit. How come y'all don't want to be the Bush people? <laughs> you know, or the, uh, the aborigine in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Why you don't want to? You, you gotta be Egyptian. Now you can, or, uh, I've seen people claim that aborigines. Too. <laughs> <laughs> they try to say that those that the aborigines. See, this is where people got these bugged out doctrines. You got people to teach on the aborigines. That was a uh, that was a, a colony of Egyptians that went there two thousand years ago. We found hi- we found hieroglyphs in Australia. You ain't seen that? No, I ain't seen that. Bugged out, man. Yeah, I believe it. Though. Them aborigines got the spirit of Japheth on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They, they, they gotta be dead. They got a weirdo spirit on. Even though some of our people might be scattered over there. Mm-hmm, yeah, because I'm watching a lot of uh, movies made over in Australia. And there's a lot of Jakes over there, man. A lot of Jakes over there, man. There's a lot of Jakes in New Zealand. Big ass. Oh, right, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm watching someone in New Zealand, man. And yeah. I was like, damn, I didn't know that. I mean, Jake's in New Zealand. Cause a, yeah, well, you got the Irish down there, because Australia and New Zealand now is just like America. When America was first founded, they used to bring slaves over here. They used to take them slaves, or they had people to be in debtor's prison. A lot of the Irish and Scottish, real poor people, they might owe the government just a little bit of money, and the government would put your ass in slavery and send you to debtor's prison. Ship your ass off to the Caribbean. Ship you off to Australia. I was watching that movie, that pirate movie called The Seahawk with uh, Errol Flynn in it. And they show you in this movie, I think it's called Seahawk. I don't know if it's an Errol Flynn movie. You know the dude that played the Robin Hood back in the day? They show you in that movie, they beating the shit out of some higher slaves with some whips. Just whipping them. Crack, crack. They's all on a whole goddamn slave plantation down in the Caribbean. So, yeah, you got all kind of jakes down in Australia. Playing there, uh, what's that, what's that football they play down there? The, uh, rugby. yeah, right. rugby, what's the other one? The, the Australian rules football? Where the fuck There's two different styles of it, I forget. That's that Australian, Australian. Australia. Oh, that's lacrosse, I think. Well, she got a lot of our people scattered among the Samoans, too, man. Like The Rock. The Rock, you know he's an Israelite. He a goddamn Samoan, but he's really an Israelite. So you can't always judge people by appearance anyway. What was you looking for? Your hand frozen yet? I need to find me a scripture. I got a Bible. Dude, I got fucking gloves in my hand. Trying to turn the I got these little cheap ass gloves. This ain't like you got gloves on at all. I want to bring a scripture over quick. This is how you get over the That's right. Hold on. This is required. I'm going to get this out real quick. Amos 9 and 10. Not Amos 9 and 10. Amos 9 and 9. Let me read this real quick. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations. Like a corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So Israel is scattered among all nations. So that's why I was just saying what I just said. Because you're going to have Israel's, you might have Israelites looking like goddamn Samoans. Because we got scattered over there probably a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's a great mystery. A lot of these fools on YouTube can't understand. That's a that's the biggest. No, that's the huge stumbling block. That's a not, that's a pit of spikes. You know what I'm saying? They stumbled over that block and fell into a pit of spikes. That, that, that's 
that's a major that's what separates a, the real teacher from a fake right there man because you have tons and tons of Israelites on YouTube teaching the Bible and uh, very few of them would te teach that doctrine that Israel scattered among all nations you know what I'm saying yeah like you, if you the only yeah. the only people I've seen teach the truth is Great Millstone and they teach I mean common sense to tell them that because if you scatter with a group of heathens and you have been here for hundreds of years right of course you're going to start looking different like of course idiots, man and no, none of these churches teach that. None of these churches, Baptist church, Methodist, Catholic, none of them teach that Israel has been scattered among all nations. They'll just say every, everybody can be saved. Yeah, give it a good 20, 30 years. This son turned 15. Ancient world, they having kids. Right. You yeah. know, that their, their kids going to look damn near whatever, you know. But that's just we amazing. Been, we've been scattered for thousands and of years. As long as we've been here. That, that's the biggest part of the doctrine, too. That's like one of them. Besides knowing the name of the Lord, that's one of the most important things to know is that Israel's been scattered. Because you was commanded to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Oh, what you got? This is Deuteronomy 7 and 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. So what does that mean to be scattered among the heathen? Like I said, none of these churches are teaching this. They don't teach you about Israel. They never even mention the word Israel. Because the Lord said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the churches never mention Israel. Catholic church never mentions Israel. Mm -hmm. But then you got people who know they're Israelites. And they think they're the only one that's an Israelite. They, they don't understand that Israel's been scattered. They think Israel only come with one skin color. Yeah, we only come to save black people. Then you got the white Israelites too. Yep. These crazy motherfuckers trying to say Israelites is only white people. These people are nuts, man. You ain't got the scriptures. You got not a single scripture. Exactly, not not one. I could come. I, we could. I could bring out scripture after scripture after scripture. Because the main theme of the Bible is that Israel got scattered. We could, we can bring out scriptures on this all day. I got one right here. Yeah, let, me, let me get this on. And there you shall serve gods. <laughs> The work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. That's what they do, because our people were scattered among the Egyptians. You know what I'm saying? The Egyptians worshipped nothing but idols. They had alligator gods, cat yeah. gods. Worshipping cats and oh, bulls. Man, and that's ridiculous. It's endless. They probably got oh, gods man. worship that we don't even know about. 300, they had um, a god for every day of the year. Uh, like 360 gods or some shit. Like Tier B, North High to Grand Elam 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 got the oh, oh, of gods too. They worship a rock too. They, they got like a phallic symbol of a rock and they pour water on it. Hey, uh, rats. hey yeah. Rats. Uh, only the heathens. Man. Yeah, even though we hate Hindus, you know, Hindus are foul, filthy, stinking heathens. With that being said, some of our people are scattered down there in India. Yeah. A lot of these people from these other countries that's coming over here are actually Israelites. Even though we hate Somalians, they stink up the place. Some of them are Israelites. Yeah. You know, you can't judge by the flesh. You know what I'm saying? I was looking on something too. Uh, Thailand. Thailand. Oh, you know that's a Jason Thailand. I've been to Thailand, boy. Yeah, I have a Thai bitch. We go down to Thailand. Thailand ain't full of nothing but whores. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> it. I had a rich Thai bitch, man. This bitch was oof. So you got, bad, a, a you got all kind of jakes going down to Thailand yeah. in the military fucking all those women. Planting they see. And they and when they born, they come out looking like a, a, like a gook. Some of them come out looking like a, you know, a lot of niggas do look like, look at that. That goofy that, look? That, that look, yeah. 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 Tiger how, Woods. Uh, Tiger Woods. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean like... The Chinese uh, eyes. Like, the cheeky um, eyes. What's his name? Um, the, uh, the singer turn actor. I um, wish that motherfucker win. Ty, Ty, uh... Singer turn actor. Ah. I, can't, I can't even think of his name. A, a bald head nigga, man. Oh, uh, I know Ty, Tyrese. Ty, yeah, look at his eyes. Oh, okay, yeah, Tyrese. Yeah. He got that look. He got, he got some, yeah, he probably do got some, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, a lot of them, man. I got a scripture to bring out of the back. Uh, Ooh, that's a jank. 
Oh, hell yeah, yeah. Lucy, Lucy is real life. Yeah. That bitch be looking sexy as fuck, too, don't she? She's fine. Yeah, she's fine. I really knew she was a Jake when I was watching Kill Bill. Yeah, yeah. How yeah, yeah. was and Kill yeah. Bill. Yeah. I was like, yeah, she's yeah. a Jake. Yeah, hey, your girl Uma is a Oh, Uma, Uma Thurman? Thurman? Yeah, yeah she is. That's my group, man. Well, all them famous actresses. Sexy and, bitch, man. A lot of these famous actresses and actresses are Israelites yep. because an Edomite or a heathen is not going to sell tickets. You got to have an Israelite to sell them tickets. We're the stars of the world. A heathen can't sell tickets. A heathen does not put asses in seats. Okay? You ain't going to have too many heathens playing basketball or football. Well, Angel, you're right. Ain't gonna be hardly none. Like, like, uh, all the, all those good quarterbacks, they all Israelites. Brett Favre, name some good quarterbacks. Uh, Tom Brady. Oh, uh, you know Tom Brady's a Jake. Oh, well, no, fuck Tom ben Brady. Ben Joe Montana. Look how smooth Joe Montana w- was with oh, his yeah, shit. Steve, yeah. What happened to Joe Montana, man? Y'all see him on that commercial? Oh, he was looking all messed up. Yeah, wasn't he? he looked fucked up. So man. Bo Jackson looked fucked up too, didn't he? Bo Jackson, I ain't seen Bo oh, Jackson. Oh, you see Bo Jackson? You know Bo Jackson. Bo knows. Bo don't know a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bo don't know how to see help. Bo knows. They used to love taking Bo Jackson on Tecmo Bowl, though. Yeah, that was a bad Remember playing Tecmo Bowl? Yeah, with the yeah, Raiders. Yeah. yeah, with the Raiders. Yeah, take Bo Jackson. Tecmo Bowl. Yeah, because you have Marcus Allen and Bo Jackson. Yeah. San Francisco was the shit, too, on Tecmo Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was just all passing. You know, it was the Raiders. And Dwight, the Bears. Why? You take Walter Payton with the Bears. Hey, let oh, me yeah, show yeah. Let me show Let me show When y'all get a chance. I used to take the Giants and use your boy. What's up, up, baby? When y'all get a chance, defense. look on Walter YouTube Taylor. and hit up uh, Roger Stallback. Oh, Roger. And look at his videos and watch how he drops. He got that back. rhythm. Yeah, he got a pretty He rhythm. got that rhythm. Roger like, Stallback, a Dallas Cowboy quarterback. During the 70s and part, early 80s. Yeah, he's smooth with his shit, you know? man. Roger Stallback. He was from, I think he was um, a Marine. Oh, uh, was he? Uh, he was a Marine. Well, back in the day, him. almost everybody won the military. Roger Stallback. Terry Bradshaw. Oh, Terry Bradshaw. Hey, my heart out here, Billy, right next to Edomite. He's a goddamn Edomite. Fucking you got me. Man, well, for the longest of that power, we're going to be slapping the shit out you fools, man. Yeah. We're going to just line you up and slap you just like that. <laughs> I got a scripture. Hold up. How the hell is it going to pull you at quarterback? You're going to win four fucking Super Bowls. Yeah, four goddamn Super Bowls. That motherfucker used to take hits that these quarterbacks would be out for the season, man. He'll laugh at you, too, after he hits you. Like, yeah. ah, that ain't hurt, bitch. You hit like a bitch talking shit. Man, they took serious hits in the 70s and 80s. Hell, oh, they yeah, used to clothesline people. Yeah, they, they yeah. used to yeah, they now they got all, Now they got all kind of rules to protect the quarterback. Yeah, right. To protect the receivers. That was pretty, uh, pretty boy-ass Tom Brady, man. Ever since that low hit oh, yeah. with his knees. They changed all that shit. I got a scripture to back you up. Oh, yeah. Matthew 28 and uh, 18. Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. What does that mean? Go therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. So break that down, you faggots. Because that's right. So get, get some of these Israelites them, them skin color Israelites. Yo, Jake. 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 We'll just go till it drops, till it dies. But, uh, so, yeah, all you people out there, you try to say that Israel only comes in one skin color. How about you break that scripture down? 
How come the Lord said to go teach all nations? Why did he say that? Is that in the Bible? I, I just read it. It's in Matthews. Is Matthews part of the Bible? Here we go. Tobit 13 and 3. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel. Keep going. For he has scattered us among them. So the Lord has scattered Israel among the Gentiles. That's why in Matthews it says to teach all nations. Because Israel is scattered among all nations. We're going to drive this point right through your fucking head, man. Just like just like your girl drove that spike through that dude's head up in the tent. What's that? What's, who was that that did that? Was that? That wasn't... Uh, that was Judas, wasn't it? No, in the book of Judges. Oh, Judges. Okay, I was thinking of uh, when she chopped the dude's head off. He was all drunk. He probably was going to get some pussy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. She, she, she put on, she put on, on you know, me oil. She probably was looking flat too. Man, I was really what she was probably looking too, man. Had a, had a bad boogle. They do anything with some pussy. They walk up a goddamn cliff to their death with some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I was thinking about it too. I was like, yeah, he's sitting there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She was so uh, beautiful. Yeah, he pretty much was walking her, taking her to tent to tent. Want to switch over this one? Breaking up the table with her. Oh, I ain't doing that no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you want to take a turn? Right Do it with this motherfucker looking in the mirror every day. Damn, ugly as fuck.